Hi and welcome to Freedio Hub. Today in our tutorial we'll learn how can we install Windows for free and for that we are going to use VMware Workstation Professional which is a paid version of VMware. Now as you can see I'm using VMware Professional. I'll show you how can we install Windows for free and then how can we activate it. So um, we'll have to try it on a virtual machine where uh, the virtualization software that will be used today would be uh, VMware Workstation. If you want a free version of it you can go to workstation player over here and download it but of course there is a difference in the overall functionalities which are there in VMware workstation as compared to VMware player so um, then um, once that's done in order to make sure that your computer can run virtual machines you'll have to go to BIOS of your computer and make sure that you have uh, enabled the virtualization on your BIOS now in order to download the free version of Windows you'll have to type in Windows uh, uh, evaluation version on Google it would take you to this website um, you can find the uh, free evaluation version of uh, Windows 11 Enterprise Enterprise, and you'll click on download the ISO file and then you'll have to fill in the details over here um, and then it would create a link for you from where you can download the 64-bit version ISO file from their website so that's the free copy of Microsoft Windows available on their website uh, which you can activate later and I'll show you how can you activate it um, and install it on your computer now, in order to get started, um, we'll have to go to our uh, VMware Workstation uh, 17 Professional. Make sure that you have already installed it on your computer uh, before uh, proceeding with the installation. But um, just to tell you that this is a evaluation version, uh, it would work perfectly fine. But if you want to have the full benefit of it, you'll have to activate it. Now, this is our VMware Workstation. You can click on File and go to New Virtual Machine or right click on it and you can create a new virtual machine from here. Press Next and uh, here you'll have to choose the ISO file since I um, created a tutorial earlier where I showed you how can you install Ubuntu on your computer but I have just selected the ISO file that we just downloaded from Microsoft. Here you can name the file as uh, Windows 11 and uh, name it something which is uh, a bit familiar like I'm typing an enterprise ENT and then you'll change the path of it. It's recommended not to create the virtual machines in the C drive otherwise it would create a lot it would take a lot of space. Now it's recommended put a password over here to encrypt the information after this press next I'm going with the default settings that we have and then I'll press next over here if you want you can customize the settings like if you would like to add uh, more RAM to your virtual machine or if you want to add more processors to your virtual machine you can select it from here and the blue mark is indicating that um, that's the uh, maximum RAM available on your computer and the green mark is showing the recommended size same goes over here that uh, um, it would show you that how much RAM can you allocate on your computer and the CPUs that you can allocate to your machine press finish and since it's checked that power on the virtual machine once it would create a virtual disk it would power on the virtual machine so we'll give it some time till it would create the virtual instance of it and make sure that it has allocated the resources for it then it would automatically start the virtual machine As you can see, the virtual machine has been created and now it is powering it up automatically. Uh, you'll have to wait a little bit and you'll see that it would start running on your computer itself. As you can see, it's here. Now, um, just like any other installation of Windows, um, you can go to full screen mode and press the start or any key on your keyboard so it would start the installation of it. 
but um, I'll show you one thing that some uh, mostly it happens that if you're installing Windows it would ask you to um, log in with your Microsoft account um, they'll have to disable it and in order to bypass the OOBE thing uh, which uh, pops up once uh, the Windows is installed we want to install a local version of Windows on our computer where we uh, don't want to provide any uh, Microsoft account details so in order to take care of it we'll have to go to VM and then removable media and then in the adapters we'll disconnect it over here um, so now once the installation is complete it won't ask you to provide your Microsoft account details in order to check again you can go to removable and you can see that it's not checked here anymore so um, the virtual machine would not detect that it is connected to the internet um, by Wi-Fi or through the Ethernet connection once that that's done press next and install and uh, it would uh, start the process just accept and press next and then you can click on custom and uh, you can allocate the complete space to your windows if you want to create separate partitions on it you can create new and create separate partitions we are going with the default setup and we'll give it some time till it would install and make sure that everything is ready before we can proceed Now it's asking you to restart the computer you can do that um, it would restart your computer by starting the services a couple of times so you'll have to give it some time and uh, then it would start the process of uh, configuring and loading your profile in a while as you can see it's a first splash screen of microsoft windows 11 enterprise and as you can see our network is still disconnected so it should not tell us to provide microsoft account details or to update windows before we can create a local account so you can choose the keyboard over here press yes now i don't want to add any other layout you can skip that and uh, it's asking you but you can say i don't have an internet connection and there you go uh, continue with limited support um, we passed the stage where we'll have to provide the username and password for our microsoft account in order to access the services now i'll not provide a password over here because then it would ask me for the security questions i don't want to provide that uh, I usually switch off these options uh, it's entirely up to you if you want to keep them enabled you can do that then press accept and uh, it would load your profile and it would take a while before it would show you the initial screen of your Microsoft Windows 11 as you can see I have it over here and it's the evaluation version of windows 11 enterprise but you can see that it's not appearing in a full screen mode it means that we'll have to install vmware tools as you can see it's showing over here so for that we'll click on vm and install vm tools so it would show us that it has added a dvd drive to your virtual machine and through that you'll be able to install the tools uh, which would include all the drivers as you can see it popped up the message up here you can open the files and you can click on auto run if it doesn't work you can install the 64-bit version of uh, the tools which are installed since uh, Microsoft Windows 10 came in the 64-bit and 32-bit uh, it came actually only on the 64-bit Windows 10 came in 64-bit and 32-bit so you can click complete and uh, install the complete package of it so that you have all the drivers available on your computer and as you can see as it has installed you will see a full screen now as you can see and it would ask for a restart once that's done we'll press finish and we'll uh, we can enable the network now since uh, uh, we have created an account so connect it and click yes so it would restart your virtual machine um, where you will be able to run it in a full screen mode in order to do that click on this thing and it would automatically 
expand your screen so that you can enjoy your virtual machine now let's see that um, um, how can we check um, the version of our windows which is installed on this computer um, so in order to do that you can uh, go to your this PC right click on this one go to properties and you can see that this is uh, installed on our computer as a virtual instance and it's Windows 11 enterprise version now since my base operating system is already activated with the um, OEM key so since I'm installing a virtual machine it would automatically activate my virtual machine using the um, key which is there on my um, base computer as you can see it has activated it automatically on your computer so if you have a licensed version of windows you'll be able to activate it automatically on your computer if you don't have it then i have a video on my channel where i'm showing that how can you do it using a kms server um, there is a video available on my channel it's showing that how organizations usually activate windows in an official way using the KMS server which is provided by Microsoft and if you want to change the key for that you'll have to click on change and you'll have to provide the key which your domain administrator would provide you you'll enter the Mac key over here and press next it would search for the KMS server and would activate your Windows so that was our tutorial on Windows 11